we were trying to start at 4 p.m. It's now 5 p.m. Close, close, an hour late. Uh, we're doing the bankroll challenge today, so thank you all for being here. If you're watching this in the replay, good luck if you're doing your own bankroll challenge. I wish you luck there as well. Currently at $559 from our initial $100 a couple of months ago, so going well towards the 10k journey. Today, the goal of the stream is to have no um, stream breakage. I feel like we've had a lot of stream breakage so far, so that's going to be the goal to not have that. We will see. My internet is very, very delicate, which uh, feels a bit silly, but... Yeah, my stakes reg. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm assuming that your internet can sustain a very mild nudge. No, it can't, no. If my desk wobbles... Even an inch, the entire internet crashes and uh, we're doomed. What me and Greg will get up to in our spare time now is photoshopping photos of wubs on what seemed to be, I mean, you found a picture of a policeman, right, Gregor? I'm fairly confident he's maybe more of a dancing police officer or something. I don't think he's actually got the power of the law behind him. I, I think he's more of a... Police officer for tips, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck, good luck. All right, so Tio min raised a couple of times. Go through a bigger seabed here, which is interesting on this 477. We have a pretty nice back door. We could definitely look to the raise and see if it will get enough folds. I'll give it a go. Um, it doesn't have to work that often at all. Uh, and typically on this board, a half pot is going to be a bit more polar. Um, King is a good card, right? So we're pretty happy, but we're not really happy to just get stacks in. I don't expect him to go cool, cool, cool with like jacks, for example. Typically, we're going to eliminate any air, but we'll start with check here. We could bet the turn. Maybe betting the turn would be better. This is something I've been trying to work on. Is I very quickly going to check call, try and check call bluff modes. When actually, there's not that many bluffs here. Um, this is somewhat close because, I mean, he's probably repping just a 7x plus now. And the half pot in the call means not much air in the range, right? And would he bet queen to sizing? I'm not sure, but we'll try a call. I mean, we're very, very interesting kind of hand now. Oh, Tio. Who knows? Um, so I don't know much about Tio. All we can say is they've half put the flop, which is interesting. They've called a raise. You'd think 8 plus and a 7x. And they bet big on the turn. And now they've shoved this river. So they just have a seven of clubs. But would you really bet half pot of a seven of clubs? I'm not sure. Seven, eight hearts, yeah. Interesting, I didn't think there'd be too much seven X in the half pot betting, but maybe it's just a bit more like straightforward, you know, like let's go. We could have bet turn. We could have followed river. We could have folded turn, maybe. I don't know too much about um, our opponent here. It's obviously not a folding GTO, but um, good start. <laughs> Oh, I see you've added balance. You've had a little GTO badge. I mean, this is fantastic. Should I show, should I show the ladies and gentlemen, Gregor, quickly? Or just as a, as a non-spoiler, we'll just show the top of that. There we go. That's a little picture of Wubsy there. <laughs> the, the productive things that uh, poker professionals get up to, I think. Fook GTO has cheered five bits. Thank you very much, Fook GTO. That's very, very, very nice. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you for cheering the bits. That's cool. Oh, the music is too loud. Yes, good point. Um, I turned it up because I think it was you, Gregor, at the end of last stream said, I can't hear the music. And then I forgot to turn it down. So thank you for reminding me. All right. Let's start with a call. I don't know really if we're looking for a spade, if we're looking for um, not a spade, etc., etc. We've had a bet, bet, bet. After a race, 30% on the flop, 50% on the turn, as you can see there with my little stuff. Checks the river. Is there much value here, do you think? What kind of hand would bet 50% on the river and then check call that's worse than us? Maybe a king seven? I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty okay checking here. There's some better queen X in his range. There's some kings, maybe. I'm also interested to see what he's got. King eight's not obviously not calling, so pretty happy to see what we're up against in those situations. 
I think it's fine uh, from his point of view. We'll go for another bit here. It's a lot of equity. We don't want to be check folding, and it's also like let's say not tons of two pair commas from our opponent. So he's got some king jack with that. Typically, would raise flop. Jack eight's there, but two jack not really. Eight two off not really. Um, obviously, puts a lot of pressure on a hand like eight seven. Might just fold at this point. Uh, still some air in his range if he's got, for example, a hand like queen six of hearts. Might call flop fold turn. Um, and against the king, it's probably better to bet than check. Well, min raise. All right, we check all flop. We could have checked race as well. Typically, I like to check. I won't go too much into this, too much detail. But uh, Harry Togger now bets the turn. I think we call again. 30% of the time, do we win this? Yes, and we got some extra implied. It can go check, check on the river sometimes. <coughs> if he gives up with a hand like Jack 5 off or something, I uh, would be delighted with that. And if he shoves. Okay. The shove is interesting because, to be honest, like. Now he's repping kings and aces, really, or at the nine is weird, like queen nine or nine eight, or jack ten. It's actually quite a lot, isn't it? And he might bet queen, I don't know, I don't know. He could bet queen jack. All right, all right. I was talking myself into it, and then we talked myself out of it, I think. Gross says, need to work on my cropping, but I think that's pretty decent for a GTF police officer output, don't you think? Also, Wubsy looks like he could pull uh, a few tips for it, doesn't he? All right, Harry Tucker goes for a one-third sizing. Okay, that looks like a reg play to me. King, queen, please. The one-third folder being very indicative of a reg strategy. Having met Wubsy uh, in real life, I can... Oh, look, 5 7 suited. Very reggy plays. Um, I do think if uh, poker didn't work out... Uh, that's so we win, and then we'll play another. So we'll make this 49. Um, I think Wubsy uh, would be very popular with the ladies, is what I'll say. Because um, every time I show uh, Def Rao, my uh, female companion, a photo of Wubsy, and she met Wubsy too, <coughs> and she's always like, maybe you get your hair like Wubsy? You know, and then, like, he looks young, you know. He looks very youthful. And I'm like, well, but experienced and grey, mature. No, that's that's pretty good. Nah, quite like the young Wubsy look. Maybe do your hair like Wubsy. Mm. Maybe play a bit more like Wubsy. Mm. Well. Anyway, so, yes, I think if Wubsy, if Poker died and Wubsy had to uh, dress as a policeman officer for tips, I think he'd do well in a certain demographic. Thank you very much, Oscars. Beautiful Oscars. If anyone hasn't uh, ever worked with Oscars and they're currently watching from within Team 6 of 1, go do a session of Oscars and your life will be better for it, I would say. You'll feel happier. You'll feel more focused. Oscars, one of my oldest spin-and-go friends. Always a pleasure to see you, mate. Bar. 3x pre, checks flop. Can we get three streets here? I don't know, but let's go for a little bit to start with. Alexi's in the house. Hi, Tomo. Hi, everyone. Hello, Alexi. Always nice to see you, mate. I think we'll go for a half pot here. It's atypical to have a hand that will... 3x pre, limp call, cool, cool raise. Typically, we won't even want to quit a jack. Now, we could go for a shove and really try and be thin and target that, but the ace does, let's say, get some... Ace X or Spades or something, or Ace Ten or Ace King is there, so I don't think we can really try and get value with this hand. Uh, um, so we're hoping to see Jack Ten or something. Queen Eight. Uh, that's also what we're hoping to see. That's that's quite lucky for us. Could have got value for probably that, but Sad Tennis Man, welcome back. Are there details for the challenge? Uh, there are, yes. And you've nailed it, I think, with your challenge command. You can have a look, follow along, see how we've done. I think we've done about six or seven sessions now. Um. And made profit, which is nice. Dark Angel. Hi, Tom. How many days did you play to Firex the Bankroll? Hello, Dark Angel. Thanks for being here. Uh, on the challenge, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then you can see the games played on the right and the stakes um, there. So, seven sessions. There's a lot of rake back as well uh, on Party Poker, which is one of the nice things. All right, it's a shame. DGGF we've played with before. 
uh, they've been a, a reg that's been uh, from day one, actually. I think they were the first reg we played in this challenge. Russia 007, hello from Russia, guy. I will not say good luck because you are rich. I still will take the luck and uh, not that rich. But your channel is very interesting. Thank you. Uh, what do I want to say? I want to say... Um, oh, my language is getting bad. Yes, yeah, she's good. I think she was putting on, uh, but got to make sure for us waiting stay for the X-ray. <laughs> Joy, isn't it? Just she just wanted to some spend time with the dad, Nick. I think. I would I would fake an injury just to hang out with Nick for four hours. Personally, did you get any snacks? That's the any snack machines at, in the X-ray waiting area. That's what Antonio wants to know. Oh, Nicky, do you know what the X-ray's worth? Having some snacks from a snack machine. Hang on, we got a noise for that, haven't we? Oh, Nicky, do you know what that's yeah. worth? Having a snack machine right in <laughs> your back. Still, still unconfirmed yet if it's back or bag. I'm not sure, but love to Antonio. Oscar's there, let me find us. Follow Ogre's on Instagram. Not now, baby. So it's gone check, check, turn. How do we check all the min on the flop? Ace comes on the river. Typically a good card for us, and then we want to be firing this. Very interesting to kind of range our opponent. Like, I think he's got a lot of jack X here, and we could try and go for a pot bet to see if we want to fold out a chop. There is some queen 10, so I'm a bit worried about that, so I think we'll just check and see what he does. Could have some 10-9, although I think a lot of his bluffs, which don't have showed him, would typically uh, barrel. I'm surprised we win here. Um, maybe there's some, like, low pocket pair or something. Ooh, a 5-4. Okay. Okay. DGF thinks we're a bit stationary, which is probably fair in some situations. Togi Master says, Tu sei una persona fantastica. Togi, you know, I'm going to Italy. Uh, uh, we're going to Venice. Um in December so molte bene a, a, a wonderful opportunity to you know I'll go e ciao a tutti ragazzi come va and then they'll say something back to me and I'll go sorry I don't actually speak Italian that was a bluff <laughs> I, I went to I went to uh, Greece um, last month and I very confidently went up to the border you know when you show your passport right so I very confidently went up and I went um Yasu file tikanis, which is like Greek for hello, mate. How are you? And he said, Yasu. And then he said something like, you you speak Greek in English, I think. And I said, tikanis file. And he said, kalesi. And I went, kala. How are you? Good. Thanks. And then he said something else. And I said, sorry, I don't actually speak Greek. I was, and he was like, are you a bluffing? And I was like, oh, he knows me probably from Twitch. Famous. And so I said, you've, uh, you've seen the Twitch. And he went, what's Twitch? I have no idea what you're talking about, mate. So they are, don't worry. Anyway, but I'm excited. We were out of focus. I'm excited to, to do the same in Venice and go, a buongiorno. And then they say, hey, you speak it And I go, nah, it's a, it's a bluff. Sorry. <laughs> I'm playing a lot of spins in this period and great results. Excelente. Fantastico. Tutto bene in Italia. Molto bene. Well done, Toki. I'm happy to hear very good. Which says, thank you too. If you play Twisters and iPoker when the blinds change every one minute, the game is change ass well. Um, if you play Twisters and iPoker when the blinds change every minute. So, in um, it's that's playable. I'm going to assume you mean like, is the game, can you play uh, a game where the blinds are a minute long? Yes, you'll need lots of rake back or you'll need low rake. So, the edge, the chippy V you can make, the ROI, the edge you can have is a lot thinner, a lot, a, a lot smaller. So if the rake is high and you can't make that much edge, you're not going to be able to play those games profitably. Um, we'll play some ultras, which will also have a minute. Uh, we'll have a minute blind levels to give you a, a similar to the twisters to give you an idea. But um, I think that's what you're asking. No problem, by the way. Uh, I hope I hope that made sense. Let me know if it did. Bosch is here. Hello, Bosch. Hello, first time catch streams live. Tommy, you inspired me to try flashes of your streams back this year. I am so sorry, Bosch. 
<laughs> I've lost hundreds of dollars there. I knew it'd be a bad. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be a good story. <laughs> Uh, all right that didn't go so well oh we were going to play uh, an ultra weren't we let's play an ultra instead <laughs> 